Welcome to a Lucky 44 tutorial for the Arma 2 editor. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick uh, tutorial by request about how to use the side chat text so that players and AI can be sending messages on the bottom left of the screen in the blue side chat text. Um, so in this situation I've placed one unit here, uh, rifleman named Joe. Um, so he's going to be our player unit and he's going to be 1 1 alpha in the designation. Um, and I've placed a marker here that says location alpha. And the idea is that when Joe and his team come to this location and they're going to clear it of hostiles, then they want to send a radio call into. Uh, their command, their headquarters, which will be Crossroad here, and say Location Alpha is clear of hostiles. And then we want to have the AI send a message back that says, uh, okay, with Location Alpha clear, proceed to Location Bravo, or something simple like that. But the basic idea is that you're going to create a dialogue between the players and the AI. Um, and in this case, I'm going to have it be radio controlled. So, and radio meaning radio triggers. So, I'm going to start with this one. Let's take a look. Um, I've set the axis for this trigger to be zero in both directions because we don't need a diameter. We don't need a big blue circle designating an area. I've set the activation to be radio alpha. The, these radio controls Alpha through Juliet are the player radio controls, and I'll show you how to do that using your zero zero keys on the keyboard in a second. <coughs> um, and that's really the only thing we need to set up in here is this is all going to be activated when the player uses the radio keys. For the text, the text is going to be displayed under the radio options so I want the player to have the option to say location alpha has been cleared and the condition is just set to this which means that it goes back to here so when radio alpha is called it will definitely fire no other conditions and when it fires when it's activated this is what will happen Joe 1 my player unit will say into the side chat the information that's in the quotes so he'll say, blue one to crossroad, we are at location alpha, and it is clear of hostiles. That text will come up and say that. There will not be an audio unless I added that, which is a, another level of complexity. Then I put a semicolon, which means that's the end of that line of text, and I'm moving on to a separate new line. And this is, I've created a flag, a variable called message one. And once Joe, my player, throws this, uh, sends this radio message, I want to change this flag, message one equals done. And I'll use that in my next trigger. Because I want to create a pause between the time when the player sends this message and when the AI responds. If I wanted it to send the message back immediately, so that you'd see one text then the other immediately after it, I could just put it in here but I want to create a sort of delay to add some realism. So that's triggers all set. Trigger um, is again going to have no radius because it doesn't depend on anything stepping into its zone. The only thing that's going to be important here, the activation is none. I'm going to set it to countdown for five seconds. The min, mid, and max are all going to be five seconds, so it will definitely happen in five seconds. I could add some randomness to that, but not a big deal. And the condition is, that is, this trigger will become true when message one equals done. So you can see how this is going to connect. So as soon as the player fires the other trigger through the radio controls, this message is going to become true, and it's going to count down for five seconds, and then it will do the on activation. And here's the syntax. I use a left angle bracket, then west, comma, quote, HQ, unquote, right angle bracket. And that's going to tell it that 
to use the name Crossroad, which is the default um, West headquarters, and send a message from Crossroad into the side chat and then what's in quotes is going to be the message that shows up on the screen. Copy that blue one with location alpha clear, proceed to location bravo. Oh, let's put a period in there. Good syntax, so important. Um, okay, so that's it. That's all there is to this so far. Let's take a look at it in game. You can hum a little while you're waiting for it to load. La -dee -dee. Okay, here we go. All right, so here's Joe, my uh, player, and there's Location Alpha. I'm moving into Location Alpha. If there were hostiles here, I would kill them. Nope, no hostiles here. Looks clear. So I use my numerical keys on my keyboard. I hit zero, which calls up those options visible on the left side of the screen and then I pick zero again to use the radio and I only have one option in here which is tied to the number one which is the alpha key so I want to say location alpha is cleared I press one and the text comes up on the bottom left of my screen five seconds later crossroad comes back and says copy that blue one with location alpha clear proceed to location bravo um, there are a lot of different things you could do. A more advanced approach would be to put this in scripts. That, that would be what I would really do at this point now that I'm more comfortable with scripts. Um, but you can make it work just using simple triggers. That's that. So another Lucky 44 tutorial brought to you by uh, The Art of Warfare this time. Taw.net.